I will talk about three three parts. One is principles of PDH hip locking plate. The second is indications, and the third is techniques. Also, I will try to talk some my tips. As we know, the femoral neck shaft angle is changing with age. This image shows the changing in different ages. At the highest after burn, at this, with bearing and walking, the femoral neck shaft angle is decreasing. In adult, it's about 120 degrees. So, any situation is higher or under the degree, it will cause to femoral neck deformity. We call it coxoviral or coxovalga. This deformity may cause to abnormal stress in hip joint and early onset OA. So now let's talk about speak uh, indications. And uh, this one is coxal virus. We can find the femoral neck shaft angle is much less than normal. So this one is about 3.6, three years, six months, it goes, we can find the femoral neck angle is very, very low. So the definitely will cause the um, uh, poor gait of the hip. So these indications we need to change the shape. Another one is coxavalgus. This one is seven years old boy. It's idiopathic coxavalgus the poor coverage. Also, this one is developmental dysplasia of the hip. Uh, this girl underwent three more, more four time, uh, yeah, three or more four operations. So it's caused to radial hip dysplasia. We can find poor coverage of femoral head. And are any situations more coverage needed, such as LCPD and other disease? We can find this one, this typical LCPD. Also, we can find in Abby Duxon view, coverage is getting better. So that means we need to change the femoral neck shaft angle, make it have better coverage. So, talking. As for technique, about 20 years ago, we just used closed vet osteotomy. This is um, uh, coxal, coxal virus. And uh, because we have no any options, we just use closed vet osteotomy and fixation with a bending straight plate, no locking system. For this age, it works, but for some Elder cases, it it's very very it's it's very weak to support the osteotomy. So we need to find another more effective hardware. So about ten, maybe twelve years ago, we start to use. We started to use blade plate. Also, it's close vet osteotomy, fixation with blade plate. It looks better, but blade pulled out occurred in some young cases. Also, then no locking system available. This one, it looks better, but for some complications, we have some cases blade pulled out. It's uh, all correction was lost. 
So locking system is needed to control proximal part better and keep it more stable. Okay, now we are talking about PDH keep locking plate features. Universal design for left and right femur. Initial plate positioning with cushioner wires allows easy adjustment with less burn damage. Anatomically tailored plate design simplifies the positioning of the plate outer bone and reduces the risk of soft tissue irritations. Now two systems are available, 2.7 and 3.5 locking screw available. Indications also included specific indications for the uh, 90, 100, 110 is up to 150 degrees plates, included various valgus rotation and the shortening osteotomies, femoral neck on portocantaric fractures, proximal metaphysis fractures, dysphysial fractures, pathologic fractures, prophylactic use for impending pathologic fractures. In addition to indication about specific indications for the 90 plates also include distal metaphysial fractures. The range of uh, plate size, angles, and screw lengths all optimal patient fit. Angular stability, two femoral neck screws, and um, a diverging Kelka screw ensure an uh, excellent fixation in the bone. Limited contact of plate or to uh, periosteotomy or to um, minimize periosteal blood circulation problems. Now, 2.7 system is available, different proximal shape of the selections. It's highly polished. Polish smooth engine at distal tapping and for minimizing soft tissue irritation. Now we can see animation of the technique. Now, this one is very important. We, if we want to change, such as this one, we can calculate how much degree we want to change. Someone like uh, supine prism, but it's okay. Uh, in standard, it's lateral prism.
So now we talk about standard steps. The first, first of all, it's very important to put um, pin to mark uh, femoral anti worsen angle. It's very important because the second one, because the guide pin is a parallel parallel to the marking pin. Guide pin is femoral neck is most um, most important step. It will determine how much degree we correct them. So also through this one, we can have better medial, medialization of the distal part, such as this one. We need to have internal rotation and abduction view pre-operation is needed to evaluate how much angle to be corrected. This one is to control proximal femoral anti worsen correction. So we can use this view to evaluate how much degree we corrected. This is nine years ago with bilateral hip dysplasia after treatment. We can find we have better coverage of the femoral head. Also, we perform triple osteotomy in the acetabular side. This is eight years boy with idiopathic coxa valgum. No improvement after two years of observation. So we have to correct it, use the locking plate. Yeah, this is after three years, it looks better. This case, the previous case, we I, I talked about 3.6 years ago with coxal viral on right side. And AD, Duxon view is needed to evaluate how much degree we should correct. This is intraoperative, we can find it, the femoral neck shaft angle is getting better. So this is one year later. Tips, making Deliberate plan preoperatively is necessary to perform this technique. How much various or valgus angle will be corrected and how long the screw in femoral neck. Guide pin is most important step in the whole procedure. AP and lateral views are needed intraoperatively to ensure the proper position of the pin. Put the plate as proximal as possible. Distal part medialization is needed. So that's my experience. Thank you.